10th of December 1939, after two and a half weeks of shore leave, we leave Kiel for our fourth war patrol. We are mourning the loss of our machinist Oberfehnrich zur See Josef Damm, who was killed in a bar fight ashore. Also not coming with us is Bootsmann Joachim Eppen, who was hospitalized after a traffic accident. Their replacements will have to prove that they are just as competent as they were. Our previous patrol area near the English Channel was a very dangerous one. In those shallow waters we were under constant threat to be engaged by British or French ships or airplanes. Well, in our new patrol area we should at least be safe from French forces. We have to sail to AN-41, which is far up north near the Scottish coast, and the Orkneys. Scarpa Flow, the main naval base for the British fleet, is not too far away, and therefore I expect the area to be well patrolled. The Brits have become a bit touchy on that subject, since Breen snuck into Scarpa Flow and sank the Royal Oak. Oh, if only we could get such a target in front of our torpedo tubes. Maybe one day. We are leaving Kiel at first light in the morning. The men are gathering on deck to take in one final view of the city. We will not be seeing it for a long time. Life will go on without us. The people who are still sleeping in their beds will wake up, go to work, live their lives. We will be at sea, fighting the elements and the enemy, without a friendly soul within 1000 kilometers of our position. Our journey will almost take us to the maximum range of a Type 2 submarine. We will have to take great care that we keep our fuel consumption low. Even so, we won't have much fuel for high-speed maneuvers and chases. There is a very real possibility that we will have to return for home before we can fire even one torpedo. As the sun starts to creep over the horizon, we enter the Kiel Canal, which will take us straight to the North Sea. After we exit the canal, we will sail to Helgoland, and from there on we will continue to our dangerous patrol area in enemy waters. It is now half past midnight. We are sailing past Brunsbüttel and leaving the Kiel Canal behind us. From here on out we need to be vigilant. <coughs> 2 p.m. on the second day of our journey. We are leaving Helgoland behind us. In front of us only the open North Sea that we have to cross to get to the Orkneys. It will be a long journey, over multiple days, but at least the weather is calm, no comparison to our previous patrol. We are really lucky so far. Fifteenth of December. We have arrived in our designated patrol area. The weather is still calm. It has actually been a pleasant journey. A stark contrast to what we had to endure in the past when we were being thrown around by waves all the time. I really hope that this weather holds. Well, the calm mood didn't last for very long. We have spotted smoke on the horizon. It looks like there are multiple ships out there. As we get closer and the ship's masts begin to appear over the horizon, we realize that we might be looking at multiple warships. I immediately order the boat to dive. If those contacts are warships, maybe even destroyers, then we cannot afford to get detected by them.
I will try to identify the targets with the help of the periscope, but my mind is made up. We will not be engaged in a group of enemy destroyers. So what do we have here? I can see four columns of smoke on the horizon. Double columns, which confirms my suspicion that we are dealing with a group of destroyers. I do not want to be in their path. I do not want to get detected by them. I do not want to be anywhere near them. I did expect this area to be patrolled. But to see four destroyers together, when the British are reportedly short on these ships, and trying to get their hands on them anywhere they can, that's sombering. That means that this area is far more important to them than I thought. This also confirms that our time here in this grid will be very dangerous. Flugzeug gesichtet. Lage 2, 3, 9. Große Entfernung. Tiefenruder auf normal tauchen. Ah! Okay, so it's not just destroyers. We will also have to deal with airplanes patrolling the area. The airplane suddenly came out of the scattered clouds and it dropped its bombs on us. Thankfully, it failed to do any damage. That's the good news. The bad news is that they now know that we are here and they will intensify their patrols. We will have to be very, very careful from here on out. Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Silent Hunter 3 campaign. We have just spotted a ship on the horizon, it appeared out of the fog. And, well, the sea is very calm. It is fairly early in the morning, um, and he is not that far away. I think we will dive the boat to periscope depth, just to make sure that we don't get spotted prematurely. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy! Auf zero tief again. Also, I want to turn the boat a bit. We still have to intercept him, and we might have to do it submerged. So let's start the turn immediately, as the boat sinks beneath the waves. Let's get everybody in position. Handsman on station, weapons officer on station. That looks good. You can rest. I need sonar. Okay. That looks good. I should replace the crew in the command room, so let's do that right now, really quick. We are still fresh. Okay. Let's put him here. Okay. Where's the place go? There he is. I am assuming at this point that we are dealing with a British ship. Because look where we are. We are not far away from the Orkneys and from Scotland. I would be very surprised if this was anything else but a British ship. So, how will we, at will we attack him? Um, we could try again the 
Ausdampfverfahren method. But he is gaining on us pretty fast right now. Let's see if we can remedy that with a turn ja, to 30 degrees, Neuer right? Zwei, acht, Down pace go. Ja, Speed up. Volle Fahrt voraus. Okay, we're completing the turn, slow down. Let's see if he's still gaining on us. Once the turn has been completed right now... Ah, the boat is still turning a little bit. But he is still gaining massively. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Is he armed? That's a very interesting question. And can I determine his AOB from this range? It is quite difficult to tell what his AOB is. But you know what? Give me 20 degrees more. The Ausdampfverfahren might still work. It might still work, especially if I sprint for a bit. I could do that. I could dive the boat a little bit deeper and then sprint for hmm, five minutes, maybe. Although that might be too much. Yeah, oh, five minutes should be okay. A short sprint. Okay, let's waste the periscope, take another reading. Our course is stabilizing. Where is he? There he is. Let's check. Speed stable, course stable. He is... Gaining on us. Very slowly. But he is gaining. I cannot turn more than this because um, I would essentially be increasing my distance to him, I, I fear. Yeah. Okay, so we are not doing that then. Let me put in a sprint, five minutes, and then we'll see how we stand. Bring the boat deeper, come on. Okay, we are now sprinting for all that it's worth. And I want to sprint for five minutes. Let's give it a bit of time, a bit of time compression here. No, we have him at an AOB of 90 pretty much. Now, yeah, this is pretty much AOB 90 degrees. Okay, it's getting interesting now. If this is AOB 90, or very close to it, then that would mean that I am looking at his course in a wrong way. He would be sailing on a course of 300 and... 17? Uh, this is still not quite 90. I don't think so. I still can't see the backside of the bridge. Yeah, let's play this game. So I got the course wrong. But I can confirm that he is unarmed. Which is excellent. Sun is setting. Give this... I don't know... 20, 25 more minutes and we will have enough darkness that I should be able to go for a quick surface attack and he won't be able to react to it. Yeah. Let's see, now we have an AOB 90 at 305. 305 AOB 90 degrees, that puts his course at 320 degrees. Down periscope. Yeah, okay. Come 
to 320 degrees. Go deeper. Full speed ahead. We will be running parallel with him for... Let's give it 10 minutes. Let's see, the course is set nicely. Uh, one degree. Now don't turn the rudder back, give me that degree. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Now, let's get our clock back and let's give it 10 minutes, I think. Six minutes. Nine minutes and one more minute. There we go. Okay, stop the clock. Uh, bring me yeah, back to periscope depth. Slow down the boat. We have yeah, lost some Kaloi. speed because we are draining the batteries. So I expect him to have gained on us, but that's not an issue. Once we are on the surface, we can catch up very, very easily. Okay, let's take a look. Yes, he's running away from us. Sun is down, but it's still too bright outside. Confirming, no guns. No guns at all, and a British flag. Down periscope. Speed up the boat. Let's give it 10 more minutes. Yes, I am draining my batteries very fast, but it's okay. It's very much okay. Okay, let's give it another 10 minutes then. Okay. That won't take long. Yeah, we can only run at 6 knots now. The boat won't go any fast anymore. Uh, the more you drain your batteries, the slower your boat becomes. Okay, we gave it a bit more than 10 minutes now, but that's fine. Slow down. There he is. The horizon is still bright. Ten more minutes. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neue Tiefe. Eins, vier Meter. Beide Maschinen AK voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Auf zero Tiefe gehen. Slow down. Yeah, the boat is slowing down on the water. Uh, we won't be able to keep this up. I have to start the attack. Let's see how far away he is now. Yeah, he's opening up the distance to us. That I of course don't like, and it's not getting significantly darker fast enough. So we just have to go for it. Trust in our diesels and go. Overtaking him will not be an issue. The question is how fast will he spot me? That's the question. Here's what I can try to do. We won't fully surface the boat. We will surface uh, so that the decks stay awash. And we'll see if that gives us an advantage. Okay, we are starting the attack. Everybody be ready. Torpedo crew to the torpedo room. You guys, that's primarily you guys. If necessary, I will bring in more men. 
actually. Yeah, let's bring everybody forward who we can spare right now. We are slowly rising out of the water. So far, I don't think it has been enough. Yeah, okay, we are still coming up. Let's come up. Go, guys. I need to surface a bit more, come on. Okay, this is looking good. We'll soon be there. The conning tower will stick out of the water, but the decks will be awash. There we go. We just made the switch to the diesel engines. That will help us to get speed. Let's check the engine room. Ah, uh, the crew is a little bit tired, but it's okay. Uh, Chief Engineer, don't recharge the batteries right now. I need all the speed that you can give me. But I can't go up to the bridge right now. Let's see, can I? No, not yet. We're still a little bit too deep in the water. Come on. surfaced. Okay, are we running with Dex Awash? Uh, pretty much. I believe we can go a little bit lower. And we can definitely go faster. Much faster. Bring the user up to the bridge. Okay, let's prepare everything for our shot here. Target definitely British, not armed. Not far away from us. Distance to target, give me an estimate. Uh, you won't do that right now, doesn't matter. Oh, you do. Yeah, that's what I thought about them in kilometer. Kilometer for now. Weapons officer. Target sailing on a bearing of 320. That gives me an angle on bow of 160-something. Speed of targets. We are right now gaining on him. We are going 9 knots. Let's slow down the boat and see what happens. See at what point we stop gaining on him. Slowing down to 8 knots. Holding 8 knots. Still slowly gaining on the target. Bring the speed to 7 knots. Well, that's a lot slower than 7 knots, dude. What are you doing? Full speed ahead. The speed will be about 7 knots, I think, after all. Coming to 7 knots. That seems about right, although we are slowly gaining on him still, I think. So he might be even going slower than that. Speed, 6.5. Prepare torpedo for fire. Uh, we'll be using the impact pistols, because that's what we have loaded. Depth, um, give me 4 meters in these seas, perfectly reasonable. We will fire... I will fire torpedo 1. 
if necessary, we'll fire more torpedoes. He still has not noticed me. They are obviously not looking behind. Excellent. Speed 7 knots. And I am slowly gaining on the target. So yeah, I think 6 knots to 6.5 knots is actually fine. Okay. Speed it up. Have a look at this. So if you run your boat decks awash, uh, there's less surface that's visible. So it will be harder to spot the boat, because when only the conning tower sticks out of the water, yeah, that's all that can be seen. Of course, at the speed that we are going at, we cannot deny that we are producing a bit of a wake here. But still, if we look at it from their perspective, I mean, yeah, they could spot me if they look that way. But I think we are still harder to spot than if we were running fully on the surface. The trade-off, of course, is that you are going a bit slower when you do that. So let's dive my boat a bit deeper. Bring us a bit deeper, come on. Ah, they've spotted me. Okay, all bets are off. Surface the boat. Boat is fully surfacing. Okay, so they are definitely not armed, otherwise I would have already received a hail of gunfire. Oh man, you poor souls. You are in trouble. You're not getting out of here alive. So somebody did look behind them after all. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. It's fine. We'll run into a position parallel to him. Then I'll turn in and fire the torpedo. And I will fire only one torpedo at a time now, because uh, we have ample opportunity to hit him. He will of course start to zigzag, maybe he'll slow down, maybe he'll speed up. I will have to see, but at this range it won't matter. It won't matter at all. Range the targets, reduce to... Uh, let's give it 450. Okay. Increase Neue distance to target drei, a little bit. Drei. Chief Engineer, we are not recharging the batteries. No. Okay. Looking good. Increasing our range to target just a little bit to make sure that we are not below minimum uh, range here. Turn harder. He has essentially stopped in the water. Is he crazy? Did he really? Are they putting the lifeboats to water or what? Yeah, they, they are essentially stopped. They're dead in the water. Man, if I had a rear tube, I would fire it right now. This is just such a juicy target. Standing completely still. Okay, that's enough. Turn back. 
2, 3, 2. Neuer Kurs, 2, 3, 3. Come on, come on, come on, keep turning. Slow down the boat. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Neuer Kurs, 2, 1, 8. He really is standing completely still. We're still turning, I will be able to tell it better when we're straightened out. But this is looking wonderful. Speed zero. Range is fine. AOB about 90. Although it doesn't matter if he's standing still. Open the tube. Our boat is still turning. Straighten Ruder out the boat. Okay, he's sailing very slow. Or not. No, I think he really is completely stopped. This is incredible. Neuer Kurs, zwei, Turn in. Zwei, null. They stopped the boat. I really would not have expected this. Slow speed ahead. Voraus. Stay maneuverable. Prepare to fire. Engines, what are you doing? Is the crew too tired? I hope not. Okay. My engine crew is a bit lazy right now, but we'll fix that in just a moment. Ein Drittel fahrt voraus. We'll take care of that in just a moment. For now, let's go ahead and shoot this guy. This is such a perfect opportunity. Um, tube one. Everything is set. Fire. Let's watch. That should hit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Explode, goddammit. Yes. Come on, you're coming! Oh, that's great. That's great. So, one torpedo at that location should really be enough to sink him. Now, let's get out of here. We'll Kurs, go that drei, way. Eins, Kleine and, Fahrt voraus. Uh, Große Fahrt voraus. Let's get the engines going. The engines are not going. Okay, what's going on? Ah, there we go. No idea what was going on there. So we are out here at sea. Destroyers should be quite a ways away, although you never know. So it's better to just um, leave. And this guy will hopefully go down. We'll get away... Um, far enough that he won't be able to spot us anymore and then we will wait and see what happens with him 
yeah, that's what we'll do. I'll cut the video here and I'll bring you back once um, we are in a position where we can wait it out. Welcome back. The time has progressed quite significantly. It's almost 7 o'clock now, local time. And the ship has not sunk yet. It is very deep in the water, but it has not sunk. I had moved away to somewhere over there to observe the situation, but it is not changing. So I guess we will need to finish it off. Now there are two things, or two ways that we can do that. I can fire another torpedo, but I mean, look at my torpedo stores. I have four more torpedoes on board. Why would I use one of those on a ship that is already crippled if maybe I can do something else? Set course towards the Neuer ship. Zwei, Full speed ahead. Volle Fahrt voraus. Let's close the distance. If I had a deck gun, this is where I would use it. But unfortunately I don't have a deck gun. All I have is a 2cm anti-aircraft gun. However, that might be enough. Man the flag gun. Okay. We'll use the 2cm anti-aircraft gun here to hopefully finish off that target. But I want to close the distance a bit before I waste all these shells. Though at this range, probably I can already hit it. I have to aim a bit higher. Yeah, I'm hitting it. I just need to poke a few more holes into that thing and I think it will sink. They are blinding me with their searchlight parts. I don't think it will help them too much. Oh yeah. I got some hits on the superstructure, and I think I started another fire up there. Yeah, that looks like I started another fire. Okay, let's continue. Oops. The, the submarine is a very unstable firing platform. I think I'm receiving good hits here. And I have more than enough ammunition. Let's see if we can maybe hit the searchlight. Oh, more explosions on board. That's always nice. Get us a bit closer. Neuer Kurs, zwei, vier, I should be able to hit that searchlight. Oh, yeah, knocked one out. Yeah, searchlight's out. So, no blinding me anymore. Now I can see you properly. I can try to put shells into the waterline. Where they will have the maximum effect. Slow down the boat. Stern section is not very deep in the water. I think there we can have a good effect on target. So let's keep hitting that. Then 
that this thing eats through ammunition quite fast, but we have more than enough. Let's target the midsection. See if we can maybe cause an explosion in the engine room. That too would be very helpful in sinking this thing. Yeah, I'm putting a lot of rounds into it. And a lot of that are waterline hits. So I'm poking little holes into the ship that the crew won't be able to fix. And I'm hitting multiple compartments, that too is important. Never focus on one compartment only, always go for multiple compartments. Let's rake the bells a bit more. Loading, keep shooting. Just poking holes. It's nice to uh, be able to finally use the quote-unquote deck gun of the submarine. Come on, sink already. I really don't want to shoot another torpedo into you. She's going down. We did it. We did it. They are going down. Okay. Secure the AA gun. Seewache auf Brücke. They are finally going down. So, let's see. What did we actually sink? We sunk a reefer ship of 4,342 tons. A reefer ship. Okay. Well, finally. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs, neun, zwei. Let's turn around and, um... Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs, fünf, drei. Let's turn around and uh, sail out to sea. Just in case that there are destroyers coming in to help. And these fire effects are really good. I gotta say, especially for such an old game. The modding community really did a good job here. The fire effects, the smoke, you can even see an effect um, of steam, superheated steam escaping from the ship because of the damaged boilers. It is the lighter smoke that you can see down here. Yeah, going down. Any survivors? Can't see any right now, but maybe they... Maybe they've already left the ship. And... Uh, made good speed towards the English coast with their paddles. <laughs> oh man, poor guys. At least it's not a storm this time, so maybe many of them will survive. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, we are getting out of here. By the way, I want to check something really quick. 
So this was a Weaver ship, right? Let me see if I scroll through the vessels available here in the game. I want to have a look at the mast height of this thing. How far off was I with my estimate? Oh, we have to find it, of course, first. And there are a lot of ships in this mod. And I mean it, a lot of ships. There it is, reefer ship, mast height. Oh, yeah, it was a bit off. Mast height is almost 30 meters. Interesting. I was bang on with the length, 133 meters. But I was off with the mast height. Interesting. Okay. So while this thing is burning up and sinking, I will now leave the area. And we will continue the patrol. Let's yeah, stow the user. That was a nice attack. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. We got to use our AA gun for a chance, uh, for a change. That's awesome. I didn't expect to be able to use it, to be honest. But okay, it can be useful to finish off um, a wounded ship. That's good to know. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, if you did, leave me a comment or so. And I hope to see you again next time. Until then, have some great days and goodbye.